Dear students, today we will discuss on diseases of crucifers and cucurbits. First one is the diseases of crucifers. Crucifers vegetables group constitutes low volume and high value seed crops. The amount of vegetables produced in the country at present serves per capita per day intake of vegetables only around 145 gram against the requirement of 285 gram for a balanced diet. Unfortunately, diseases are the important limiting factors which restrict the fast expansion of cultivation and productivity of vegetable crops. The information on important fungal, bacterial and viral diseases attacking various crucifers vegetables are discussed here. First one is the fungal diseases. First disease is white rust. Disease causing pathogen can be visualized when infected plants show characteristic raised glossy white blisters 1 to 2 millimeter in diameter in leaves and inflorescence may become enormously thickened, fleshy and greenish leading to sterility. Now coming to the scientific classification of this pathogen. Kingdom is Chromalveolata, Phylum, Heterocontophyta, Class, Omycetes, Order, Perinospolans, Family, Albuginaceae, Genus, Albigo, and Species is Candida. Now coming to the character of this pathogen. It is an obligate parasite reproducing both sexually and asexually. Mycelium is intercellular and non septate. Numerous sword conidiophores arise from the mycelium, which are arranged in rows beneath the host epidermal layer, press on the epidermis to cause the pustules or blister. Inside the pustules, sporangia are produced in chains arising from the sporangiophores at the base of the cavity. The oldest sporangia lie at the top and the youngest one at the base of the sporangial chain. The sporangia are hyaline, spherical, thick walled and interconnected by a pad of gelatinous disc like tissue. In the presence of moisture, these pads swell and disintegrate freeing the sporangia in the chains and they germinate either by germ tube or by producing juice spores. The ospore is spherical with a thick irregular wall, deep yellow to dark brown in color. This is about the character of this pathogen. Next disease is the downy mildew. These pathogens show small brown spots on the lower surfaces of the leaves and upper surface light yellow in color. Now coming to the scientific classification of this pathogen. Kingdom is Chromalveolata, Phylum, Heterocontophyta, Class, Omycetes, Order, Peronosporals, Family, Peronosporaceae, Genus, Peronospora and species is Parasitica. Now coming to the character of this pathogen. The mycelium of the fungus is strictly intercellular with large finger shaped intracellular hosturia which become clavet and branched and nearly fill the cell cavity. The sporangiophores are produced during darkness which are divided into primary and secondary branches that is dichotomously branched which ultimately bifurcate to form sterigmata which bear the single sporangium at the tip. 
The sporangia are broadly oval, ellipsoidal, and hyaline, and they fall off mainly by hygroscopic twisting of the sporangial force in response to change in atmospheric humidity. The oospores are globose, measuring 26 to 43 micrometer in diameter. They are enclosed in crest-like folds and appear pale yellow in color and germinated by germ tube. This is about the character of this pathogen. Next disease is the leaf spot. The symptoms appear as minute dark brown to black spots which may enlarge by forming concentric rings and each spot is surrounded by a yellow halo of chlorotic tissues. Now coming to the scientific classification. Kingdom is fungi, phylum Escomycota, class Dotidiomycetes, subclass Pleusporomycetidae, order Pleusporels, family Pleusporaceae, genus is Alternaria, and species is Brassicola, Brassicae, and Raffani. Now coming to the character of this pathogen. Three species of Alternaria are responsible for this disease. They are Alternaria Brassicae, Alternaria Brassicola, and Alternaria Raffani. Now let's see one by one the character of this pathogen. Alternaria Brassicae. Conidia of bigger size with larger beak, obclavate, rostrate with 16 to 19 transverse septa and 0 to 8 longitudinal or oblique septa, pale or grayish olive. The beak about one third to half the length of the conidium. Mycelium is immersed, hyphae branched, septate, hyaline. Conidiophores are simple, erect, bearing one to several small but distinct conidial skirts. Conidia are solitary or occasionally in chains of up to four. So this is about the character of the pathogen. Next is the Alternaria brassicae cola. Produces smaller conidia with shorter beak. Mycelium immersed, hyphae branched, septate. Hyaline at first, later brown or olivaceous brown. Conidiophores arising singly or in groups of 2 to 12 or more. Next is the Alternaria refani. Usually attacks radius. Conidiophores are simple or occasionally branched, septate, and olivaceous brown in color. Conidia are formed commonly in chains of 2 to 3, straight or slightly curved, obclavate or ellipsoidal, generally with a short beak, mid to dark golden brown or olivaceous brown in color. Smooth or sometimes minutely very close with 3 to 7 transverse and often a number of longitudinal or oblique septa. So this is about the character of this pathogen. Next disease is the club root. The infected plants show underground roots are hypertrophic, forming clubs of different shape and sizes depending upon the infection sites. Coming to the pathogen character, the causal organism Plasmodiophora brassicae has two phases in their life cycle. Primary phase occurs at root hairs and secondary phase at cortical cells of the root. The incitant is biotroph, endocellular and plasmodial fungus. The life cycle involves production of two different plasmodial phases, that is sporangial plasmodium, which gives rise to thin-walled sporangia, and sporogenic plasmodium, which produces thick-walled hyaline and 
spherical resting spores. The plano spores are anteriorly biflagellated and uninucleated. Plasmodia and secondary sporangia may be seen in root hairs and epidermal cells. The resting sporangia are spherical, uninucleate and minutely spiny. This is about the character of this pathogen. Next is the viral disease. Disease is the mosaic. This pathogen can be examined when infected plant produces vein clearing or vein bending symptoms ultimately leading to mosaic pattern. Now coming to the classification of this virus, it is grouped under seven double stranded DNA reverse transcriptase. Family Columnoviridae, genus Columnovirus and species Cauliflower Mosaic Virus. Now let's see about the character of the pathogen. The disease is caused by Cauliflower Mosaic Virus which belong to Columnovirus group. Variants are isometric, 50 nanometer in diameter and non-enveloped and the genome consists of unipartite double-stranded DNA. Next is the diseases of cucurbits. Cucurbits is an important and large group of vegetables cultivated extensively in India. The family Cucurbitaceae contains 117 genera and 825 species. The productivity of cucurbits is greatly affected by many fungal, bacterial and viral diseases depending upon the locality and agroclimatic condition. Now let's discuss the important diseases one after another. First one is the fungal diseases. First one is the downy mildew. Diseases causing pathogens show pale green to yellow angular spots restricted by leaf veins appear on the leaves. Next is the classification of this pathogen. Kingdom is Chromalveolata, phylum is Heterocontophyta, class Omycetes, order Peronosporals, family Peronosporaceae, genus Pseudoperonospora. Now let's see about the character of this pathogen. The mycelium is hyaline, sinusitic and intercellular. Sporangiophores develop in group of 1 to 5. Sporangia germinate by producing juice spores. Oospores are produced rarely and are spherical. Next important disease is the powdery mildew. This pathogen can be visualized when infected plants show white flurry coating due to interwoven mycelium on the surface of the leaves, stems and other succulent parts. Let's see about the classification of this pathogen. Kingdom is fungi, phylum Escomycota, class Lutumycetes, subclass Lutumycetidae, order Erisophels, family Erisophaceae, genus Erisophae, and species is Psychore serum. Now let's see about the character of this pathogen. The pathogen of this conidia are single celled, hyaline, barrel shaped and in long chains. The conidial dimension vary with the physiologic race and the host. Clistothesia are globos, dark with hyaline to dark brown and myceloid appendages. They contain 8 to 18 SI and the SI are pedicillate, ovate to broadly ovate or ellipsoid. The number of ascospore per ascus is usually 2, rarely 3. Next disease is the Fusarium wilt. Pathogen appears as yellowing and marginal chlorosis of leaves, 
from down to upwards and drooping and wilting of plants. Coming to the scientific classification of this pathogen. Kingdom is fungi, division is Escomycota, class is Sordaromycetes, order Hypocreals, family Nectriaceae, genus Fusarium, species is Oxysporum. Now coming to the character of this pathogen. The disease is incited by Fusarium Oxysporum, Forma specialis Cucumerinum. The fungus produces septate mycelium and micro and macro conidia. Chlamydospores are also produced. Next important disease is the angular leaf spot. Pathogen appears on leaves, water sock spots, delimited by veins, appear a crust of bacterial ooze is formed on them and that tissue may drop off leaving short holes. Fruits are circular, brown to black and superficial. Now coming to the classification of this pathogen. Kingdom is bacteria, phylum proteobacteria, class is gamma proteobacteria, order pseudomonadales, family pseudomonadesi, genus pseudomonas, species is syringi. Now coming to the character of this pathogen. The disease is caused by bacterium pseudomonas syringi pathova lacrimans. It is a gram negative aerobic non spore forming straight rods motile with 1 to 5 polar flagella. So this is all about the characters of these pathogens. Now coming to the conclusions of this topic. There are several diseases observed on crucifers and cucurbits caused by fungi, bacteria and viruses. The initial identification of the diseases can be obtained by symptoms produced by the pathogen to their host and later the confirmation is obtained by the presence of the pathogen in their infected areas. The management of the diseases depends on proper identification of the disease, pathogen involved and character of the pathogen. 